speaker, the president must confront this reality that either you die with these few individuals or you die with the entire country. It must matter to the president to be able to give young people an explanation why is it so difficult, at least in areas where ministers who are extremely, extremely known in the country to have done economic crimes to leave cabinet, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what is, it, what, what is there, Mr. Speaker, to explain to the country why the CS of agriculture must continue being a CS, Mr. Speaker? And Mr. Speaker, this must come all the way to the house so that the issue we have been fighting in this house on separation of powers, whereby we need parliament to be able to play an oversight role and have a proper autonomous and independence operation between it and the executive must also happen, Mr. Speaker. And one of the radical ways that the president can be able to help this country is to rethink the entire leadership of the National Assembly in particular, Mr. Speaker. Because the National Assembly and our constitution has got all powers to deal with money bills, Mr. Speaker. And that is why it becomes very easy for the National Assembly to be able to mix personal interest and public interest, Mr. Speaker. I have checked at the quality of leadership in this house, Mr. Speaker. If you look at Senior Senator Boni Alwale, Mr. Speaker, as the majority whip in this house, Mr. Speaker, at what point do you compare Senior Boni Alwale with Honorable Osoro in the National Assembly? where Honorable Osoro is going to look at issues of budget and finance bills in this country, Mr. Speaker. When you look at our majority leader here, Mr. Speaker, the gentleman called Arun Chiriot, who has actually brought this bill, Mr. Speaker, the depth and the passion for the country, Mr. Speaker, at what point do you compare Arun Chiriot with Kimani Chungwa in National Assembly and then say that we were a sober assembly, Mr. Speaker? When you look at people like Deputy Majority Leader, Mr. Speaker, Senator, Senator Tabitha Kerochi, a lady of valor and towering spirit of entrepreneurship, Mr. Speaker, who has run serious business as we have seen in this country, Mr. Speaker. At what point, Mr. Speaker, do you compare? I, I'm, I, I'm even lost of words, Mr. Speaker. I'm lost of words, Mr. Speaker. The, the president must confront this reality. We must see as young people a shake-up in National Assembly that has basically enabled 100% of the problem of not listening to the young people of this country, Mr. Speaker. And we must see that shake up also, Mr. Speaker, in the... Two minutes to wind up your thoughts. Mr. Speaker, as I wind up, as I wind up, I also want to invite Gen Z to a conversation that we are a constitutional democracy. The country must run. The country must be governed. Do not be tempted that in the foot of this wonderful movement that you have had, then you get compromised in traditional politics where people can end up hijacking this kind of movements for popularity's sake and make it either tribal or just pure popularity, Mr. Speaker. I've seen you vilify the president alone but you should know that our, under our constitution, we have got the presidency. The president is not the only person who is liable. Even the deputy president is liable and must also be called to order, Mr. Speaker. It is the deputy president of this country who first saw the people of this country, not as people, but as goods and services, Mr. Speaker. He saw the people of this country as commodities and made us a country that was made to be believed to be a company, not a country, Mr. Speaker. And he saw us as Rabuon, Mr. Speaker, he saw us as Mogoka, he saw us as uh, Waru, he saw us as Omena, Mr. Speaker, and now the commodities are speaking. He must know. The commodities are speaking, the Rabona have started speaking, the Omena have started speaking, and he must now realize that this country is not, is not a company where we talk about shareholding and state-made Kenyans versus self-made Kenyans, but we are a country of people of value, and even him must be held to account so that we do not start a place whereby people want to start fighting Kikuyus the other side, or fighting Somalis this other side, because all those people are also a part of the recipe of why this country works. Because I've lived... Senator Abbas.